That was two years ago. Chargers head into the playoffs after a rough patch last year. This man trying to get him back there once again. It is Phillip Rivers. Phillip, does any quarterback talk more trash than you do, man? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't call that trash, guys. That's just having a good time. Is it September 11th yet? Goodness gracious, I got a little fired up. <laughs> well, you are going to have some help this year. Ken Wisenhunt is back. How have things yeah. changed during OTAs with Wiz back in the fold? Well, you know, from a system standpoint, it's been the same. When, what he installed in 13, which was brand new for all of us, and then he, uh, he went to Tennessee. Uh, we, had, we had Frank Wright, 14 and 15, kept the same terminology, but as we all know, play callers and coordinators tweak things here and there. But for the most part, the same system's in place. Wiz comes back. There's a handful of guys that were on that team when he was here in 13 that went to the playoffs and won a playoff game in Cincinnati. So the transition's been smooth. We've added a few pieces offensively, defensively, and free agency. We've gotten healthy. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we had what looks to be uh, a, good, a good draft. So like, like most teams in June, right, we think we're going to be pretty dang good. Philip, with Ken Wisenhut, you talk about tweaking some things. Will he tweak the run game to bring a little more balance to take some of the pressure off of you? That's been a big emphasis this offseason is uh, getting better at running the football. And, and I think more balanced – for sure. I don't know if that's going to mean we're going to be 50-50 run pass, but we just got to be more efficient in a run game. If we're more efficient in a run game, then we have a chance to run some play action stuff and get some chunks down the field, which neither one of those things were really viable last year. We didn't run the ball very well. We didn't have hardly, uh, which didn't allow us to run much play action. So we definitely want to be better at that. Melvin Gordon's going to be better. Uh, Brandon Oliver's healthy with Danny Woodhead. So that's a, a group of three that we feel pretty good about. Uh, mix Hunter Henry in there with Antonio Gates. We signed Travis Benjamin. Uh, we're going to get our five linemen healthy. We, we signed Matt Slauson from Chicago, which is uh, he's penciled in as the center. I uh, feel pretty good about uh, where we are offensively, but definitely uh, being more balanced is, is, is a priority. Eli used to always go back and watch every throw he had from the season before. I'm sure you do the same thing, and, and sometimes you do it with your coaches. What did you see? That, that you did a, a great job of last year that you're hoping to carry over. And what did you, what, what's one thing that you're really working on with yourself um, that, that you want to improve on from last year? Well, for the most part, I protected the football. Uh, I did have some turnovers. Some of those were end of game desperation. Some of them were, 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 are what they were, which were my fault. But um, I protected the football pretty good for the most part. I think the thing I want to do better is I just missed too many gimmies, and I hit a lot of them. We completed a shoot over 65% of our passes and, 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 and did a lot of good things, but I missed a lot of gimmies. When you looked at over the whole year, I kind of charted every pass and where, and I missed too many easy ones. And so that's something, even these OTAs, which is easy to do in year 13, just like I know as, as an offensive lineman or as a linebacker, you want to try things new. It's just practice. Let me try this spin move, right, Willie? Or let me, <laughs> let me try this blocking technique as a lineman, it's like, no, just throw the check down or throw the swing or, and just don't get bored with those things because that's, the, that's human nature is to uh, want to try some things out. But I've really tried to just play each day like a game and, uh, and be efficient each and every day. Well, Sean brought up Eli because that's his former quarterback. You happen to be one spot ahead of Eli on the uh, top 100 list. You uh -oh. came in at 46. There are eight quarterbacks to go. That means the players had you ranked ninth. What are your thoughts on the uh, on the top 100 list and your place on it? Yeah, well, that's all right. I tell you what, be, uh, coming off a four and 12 season, uh, staying in that top 10, I guess, is not too bad. Uh, I, you know, I you get you get mixed feelings on these things, right? I mean, I think we're all competitors, but at the same time, you have respect for all these other guys that are worthy of being on the list. It's hard to narrow it down to 100, but uh, as my little brother told me, hey, th they think you're the 46th best player in the world. He goes, that's pretty cool. So I guess it is. Philip, you guys may have thought that uh, your last game in San Diego was your last game in San Diego. Now there's a new plan on the ballot in November for a new stadium there. What has that been like to deal yeah. with for you and your teammates? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting in a sense, but then again, it's something that's out of our control, and I know that's so cliche is just control what you can control, but that's really the only approach we can have. And going back to my previous comment about not being as many guys rooted in San Diego as there used to be years ago, this would have been really uh, affected a lot more guys on the team, and I know it affects everybody, and it's more than just the guys on the team. When you think about the equipment guys and the PR guys and the training staff, these guys that have been here 20-plus years, uh, you think about the potential of having to move 
move cities. Uh, it, it can be, it can drive you crazy, but it's going to be on the ballot in November. I think as players, if we really want to stay in San Diego, it shouldn't all come down to this, but let's get off to a hot start in those first nine games. Uh, have, the, have the fans in the city excited about us winning and, and not wanting to uh, see us walk out the door and hopefully they can get something done. It's just, it's too great of a town, uh, too great of a city not to have the Chargers and have Super Bowls and who knows what else there. It's a great, it's a great place to, uh, to hold all kind of events. Couldn't have said it any better, my friend.